Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Airbag recall expanded. Today, millions of more cars are added to the growing list of vehicles recalled due to faulty airbags. The government says the airbags pose an immediate threat to front seat passengers. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Hogan has been tracking this story and joins us now live with the developing details. Well, overnight, the number of cars recalled went up 28% to now include nearly 8 million. The U.S. government using very strong language to those vehicle owners to get their cars fixed at once. On the day the government announced more recalls and advised drivers to take immediate action to fix exploding airbags, its website to look up recalled cars was down. In a statement to Call 12 for Action, NHTSA says it's working on the website, but in the meantime, consumers can contact the manufacturer's website to search by their VIN number. NHTSA is not ready. This is a system which clearly is broken. Massachusetts Senator Ed Markey says these airbags are ticking time bombs and any one of them can go off in any car at any time. In fact, one car manufacturer believes the airbags are so dangerous, it's telling customers that no one should be sitting in the passenger seat, and some car manufacturers are even disabling the airbags until the parts to fix them are in. The canister gets overpressurized and can explode, much like an IED, sending shrapnel inside the car. And that flying metal has been linked to at least four deaths and 30 injuries. The National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration says more than half the nearly 12 million recall vehicles are Hondas. But there are eight other manufacturers involved. Millions of cars, however, are not scheduled to be fixed at all because most recalls have been ordered in warm weather states where the airbag manufacturer thinks high humidity makes an explosion more likely. And also certain model year Nissans are now part of this recall. Again, you are being urged to check with your manufacturer. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm consumer reporter Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.